Hello everyone, have you ever wanted a customizable pixel launcher? Do other launchers not have the things you really need in a launcher? Maybe it has too much. Well, Launcher is what you might be looking for. It has all the features of Google's Pixel Launcher, including the Google Now page, as well as some backported Android O features, some of which are actually dependent on Android 7.1 or above. But with the added customization of, you know, icon packs, transparencies, blurs, optional dark themes, and just a ton of little tweaks that I know people will love. Now a link to the releases page on GitHub for downloads is in the more info, and at the end I'll show you how to keep up to date with its development. Because there's a lot to see and change, I'd recommend that you just go ahead and download Launcher from the links below and experience it for yourself. Give it a little bit of time and go through tweaking all the little options that you can choose from. So some of the cool things that you get to do with Launcher are a swipe down gesture to open up the notification drawer, which is quite handy for these new fangdangled taller displays. A backport of the Android O notification dots and notification preview is awesome as well. An ability to hide apps from the app drawer as well is awesome. Reducing the draw opacity will allow the blur to show through the app drawer, which looks amazing as well. Now a few features I've or extras that I've noticed is that you can hide the navigation bar on the launcher uh, on the Samsung's latest update for the S8 and S8 Plus, which makes the home screen even clearer. And however, it's not to say that there are no bugs, however there are some tiny ones that I've noticed so far. The dock doesn't reach the bottom of the screen, at least on the S8, more noticeable on lighter wallpapers. The pinched overview gesture isn't working, unless I'm pitching it wrong. And as of now, getting the weather to display is still a work in progress at this point, so keep an eye out on the GitHub page for an update for that. But for what it has right now, it's an awesome alternative for those who like the Pixel Launcher and just need a few extra features and tweaks, like the icon packs that we've been talking about. Have fun, and now to keep updated, sign in or create a GitHub account and follow and start the project repository, or alternatively, just bookmark this GitHub page until they get a built-in updating system, or it gets probably updated and uploaded on XDA Labs, because the one on XDA Labs is actually a little bit older than the one you can find on GitHub. But that's it for this video, thanks for watching, and as usual, you can find me on various social media platforms like Google+, Twitter, and Discord if you ever want to talk, I recommend Discord or in fact, YouTube, leave a comment there. I'll definitely get back to that. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next one.